Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're off to Finkel Abbey, which is near Durham. We start with our last mile or so of the journey and we'll pick that up in a moment. Uh, then we have a look around the site. Then we have a quick look around Durham. And then once we've been into Durham, we do a little walk um, on in the woods with Roxy. And then finally, we finish off with a quick look at the Arniston Centre. So let's pick up now where we join our route, just heading northbound on the A167. Let's get cracking. At this roundabout, you head towards the Arneson Centre. So this one you just carry straight on rather than turning towards the centre. We're turning right at this roundabout and heading in the direction of the prison. We're going to take the first turning on this roundabout. We're going to turn left now down the lane towards Finkel Abbey. We're following the road round to the right at the corner there and if you notice on the left hand side there's the remains of the old brass side ammunition depot and Thank you to George for the information on that one. So we're just coming up now towards the entrance to the campsite. When you pull up to the barrier, it automatically opens on your arrival. see various cars parked up from people visiting the Abbey on a day trip. You head round to the right where it says no public access to head up towards the touring area and you can just see us heading up there now and we've got a pitch just on the left here so we'll just pull around into that now. So there we go, that's the route into the site. And now we're going to take a quick tour around Finkel Abbey Touring Site. Let's take a look. So when you uh, pull up to the barrier it automatically opens. If you're in for a day trip it costs £3 to get back out. But you get a code from the barrier when you book into the site so that you can get out for free. The booking in office is just to the left there. And let's just take a quick look around where you go up to the touring area where it's painted on the road, no public access. There's a handy sign giving directions to the car park, toilets, priory shop, cafe and woodland walks. You can see the way down to the booking office there. They were using the shop which is out the back for bookings in at the time. And we'll just take a look back round across the grass and the picnic area. So 
the shops just there where you can see the grey door and window. That was open earlier but it had closed by this point. So now we come to the bridge across the river Weir. And just take a look upstream. Back past the Priory and then let's look downstream as well. Priories open 10 till 5 from the 1st of April to the 30th of September and 10 till 4 for the rest of the year. Roxy decided we were going down the steps to have a look at the river. There's a handy little uh, map of the site which shows where everything was located which was quite helpful and we're pitched right next to it. Let's have a quick look around the touring area now. You can see the pitches around the edge and across and going across towards the facilities block. Here's a quick shot of the van on the pitch we're on A1 uh, just looking out the back over towards the abbey. Rachel's now just taking Roxy for a little wander around and a bit of an explore. To give you another quick shot of the touring area, this was a little bit later on, so a few more people had turned up, but still plenty of spaces around, um, especially towards the middle of the site. And we'll now go and take a look at the facilities block. So here we've got the rubbish and recycling point and then just round here is the gents, the pot and pan room and the ladies. So Rachel took a quick look in the ladies just to give you a view of the facilities and they looked very clean and tidy. chemical disposal point just round here that round. there's also a washer and a dryer and the ladies there's a handy dog waste station there as well and a dog bin you get a bit better shot of the touring area from up here round to the facilities block Lamping pods there. There's a 10 amp mains hookup. And I hope you enjoyed that look around the site. I've got to say it was extremely clean and a beautiful site with a splendid backdrop. Um, there's still plenty more to see. Um, some people David were very fortunate to get the afternoon off work on Friday. Unfortunately some people didn't get the afternoon off work so David went to have a look in Durham city centre by himself so let's have a look and just before we have a look um, just let you know you can walk from the site I believe into Durham city but I'd been to sort out my uh, gas problem uh, that uh, I've mentioned in a previous video so I managed to get filled up with gas in Darlington and it just delayed us a little bit so it was about half two by the time I got to the um, Finkel Abbey site so I decided to get a taxi into town I used a company I found on Google called Wills Taxis and 
they took me into uh, Durham. Really nice chap and lived locally. So let's take a look. So you can just see Durham Cathedral and the castle coming into view there. We're just looking here from the bridge. Get a little bit of a view now just over the other side. You can see along the river. And as we just spin round, we can see to the other side of the river. You can see there's quite a bit of debris in the river from the recent storms as well. And then back round to the bridge. There was various people sculpting ice around the city. You can just catch on the right there. There was some entertainment going on in the market square. There's various different shops, cafes, restaurants, so you can grab something to eat or buy whatever you need uh, as we look around Durham here. Some more children's entertainment here. I think that's probably because it was half term. Just heading up now in the direction of the castle and the cathedral. So we just take a right turn here to head up towards the cathedral. Just take a look at the castle before we go any further towards the cathedral and there was a sign up saying that it was only entry for guided tours. There was quite a few people queuing up to go into the cathedral. I decided not to go inside on this particular day but it is quite magnificent and definitely worth visiting inside if you get the chance. Then headed down the walkway just to the side of the cathedral and headed back towards the direction of the bridge. There's a nice little walk along the riverside if you fancy it and you can get access to it just from the side of the bridge. You can just see the way up there. wasn't too much longer before I quite fancied a beer so just took a few shots around here looking back at the cathedral and the castle where we've just come from and looking across at the bridge where we've just come over and then decided to head into the pub. Cheers! So I hope you enjoyed that little look around Durham, well worth a visit if you're there. We also took Roxy on a little trot over the river bridge to the other side um, on the woodland path which she thoroughly enjoyed. Um, David took her the majority of the way, I just went over the bridge and turned back but she had an amazing time. Let's take a look. So a nice little walk through the woodland as, uh, which is just on the opposite side of the river. Uh, you cross the bridge and it brings you into here so fantastic for a walk out or for walking the dog. See the abbey across there 
and you can see the bridge that we crossed just a little bit further down. I'd imagine in the summer this is a fantastic little spot for a picnic. A nice sandy river shoreline Look across there. Lovely little path through the woods here. Roxy's enjoying herself. I'll wander along here. Some interesting birds and wildlife. Some uh, ducks there. And there's a heron just flying off there down the river. See the heron headed over to the other bank now. So the path seems to end along the river front at uh, this point. You can see it's barbed wired off. So, yeah, bit of a view there. So I think we need to take an alternate path if we want to go into the city. Let's head back along this way through the woods. We've got a few different routes now. I think Roxy wants to go that way, but there's also some steps heading up just over there and then we can go back down to the riverside along that way and this is the way we've just come from from where it was cordoned off so we just head up the steps now and it looks like the footpath's actually closed due to the wind damage so hopefully that'll be open soon and it says please use the steps. So we're just now heading back along the riverside path. There's our handy little seat here, just pause for a moment and just take in the view across to the abbey and down to the bridge. And the next bit is a look at the Arniston Centre. That's a shopping centre that's not too far. It's about a mile and a half from the site. Um, so a quick drive there. I popped because there was a couple of bits and pieces that we needed to get. I've got to say there's a wide range of things that you can get there. There was a big Sainsbury's, a little, um, Marks and Spencer's food. So there's Greg's, Mackie D's, um, Next. So there's a whole range of shops, literally five minutes drive from the site so you don't need to be stuck without anything. So let's take a very quick look at that now. So we've arrived back home and what we want to do now is do what we always do on these things and just do a little bit of uh, resume and wrap up. So Rachel, what did you think of Finkel Abbey touring site? I really liked it. The, um, being right next to the, the ruins of the Abbey, just a spectacular view. The site, the facilities were really, really clean. Um, everybody was really friendly. Dog walk, amazing. Um, I'd give it four out of five. Couldn't ask for anything more. It was lovely, really. And thank you guys for the recommendation. Really good, I enjoyed it. What did you think? Yeah. No, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, thanks to Chris and uh, Pauline for the recommendation as well. It's absolutely lovely site. We've been past it so many times, or past the turn off, um, uh, to be to be fair, or where it gets signposted rather than the explicit turn off. Um, so it's been um, one of those that we wish we'd done years ago. I think so. Really, really en enjoyed the site. Now I'd agree, it's a, it's a solid for maybe even pushing four and a half out of five and you know we're looking for that one five uh, one so so we're re really uh, pushing up now really nice next to the river weir 
Um, found it quite relaxing and calming. Um, you're slightly in the dips, you get a little bit of shelter from the wind as well and as Rachel said it's a lovely backdrop uh, with the abbey there as well so thoroughly enjoyed it. We also got a takeaway delivered to the uh, barrier uh, which was quite nice just off uh, Just Eat so um, you can get food delivered there because uh, we decided not, not to cook. Um, had, Rachel had been working all day and I, I'd gone for a, a pint in Durham as you saw. So. That was um, that was a really nice sight, and would you go back? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Me too. I think it was a lovely little sight, so um, definitely recommend it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll catch you on the next one, uh, which next time we're coming to you from Nero's Motherly. So we look forward to sharing that one. So we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Thank bye. you. Bye.